This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I'm at Explore USA RV Supercenter and uh, I'm going to go over some of the things you should look at first when deciding to buy an RV. Just don't walk in there and say, I want an RV, please buy, uh, help me out. You should have some, uh, do some research and you should look at these uh, RVs uh, in detail and uh, Hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at, uh, uh, just go below the description, you'll find my contact information. So let's get started. The first thing you do is look at the uh, tag here on the, usually in the front, on the uh, driver's side. For example, here it says it's a Forest River product. It was uh, built on, uh, January 22, 2020, so it's a relatively new model. This is a newer model. Gives you information about the tires and other bits of information and the cargo carrying capacity, etc. You look to see if it has those magnetic door holders or these old school door holders. Uh, these aren't as rugged as those uh, other types of uh, door holders. Of course, the next thing you do is check out the storage and you see, wow, this is a nice storage. And you go and you look up and you go, oh, up here, it's all wood. Okay, so you already know this uh, travel trailer typically probably is made out of uh, wood and it's a sticks and tin model, as you can tell here. This is sticks and tin. Don't forget to look at the windows. Uh, these are uh, nice windows. I like them. Uh, this one does not open at all. That's not a good thing. At least it should, you know, go up and down. But it doesn't even have that. Of course, check out the sides. See if it's pretty solid. This is pretty solid. Not, not, not terribly flimsy. This is a new Aurora that's uh, manufactured by Forest River for the folks at uh, Explorer USA RV Super Center. There's those sliding windows. Those are big sliding windows. Those are nice. Some pe people like the more stylish awning style windows, but you know, to everybody, there you know, there's certain choices. You look at the tires and check and see if they're, uh, you know, Michelins. <laughs> that would be dare to dream, huh? But they're probably some Chinese uh, tire that cost them about 20 bucks to put on here each. But they should last about 20,000 miles with a little luck. Uh, I'll replace them as soon as possible. This is the connection here. And... Uh, and this is right here, the city water connection, and it's the outdoor shower. Down here, don't forget to take a peek and see the, uh, the terminations for the uh, black and gray. They have the black and gray nice handles. And of course, way down here, they have the um, where you can dump some of the water when you're doing uh, winterizing. It. So it's all very nice. And of course, you can tell that this uh, is a sli heavy slide because it has a rack and pinion si uh, you know, system. Uh, if you have a heavy slide, you need a rack and pinion you know, slide-out mechanism. These windows, I think they open up somehow. They look like they have a hinge here. I don't know. I have to go inside and check it out. This model is uh, what you call a bunkhouse model. Do you have any kids? That's important huh? to have a bunkhouse model if you have kids. Back here, of course, they have the uh, where you put your stinky slinky. They have a little cover they give you for the uh, for the tire. That should last a couple weeks, huh? Wow, this one has a, an outdoor uh, kitchen. Let's open it up. We have to open these little knobs up. Yeah, let's see what we got inside here. This is a good size kitchen. Look at that. So definitely a design for the folks that like to cook outdoors. It could be a little Coleman uh, stove, two, standard uh, two burner. Very nice. Got some storage up here. They give you a little refrigerator, an ever chill. This room requires, uh, if I remember correctly, alternating current to work. So you're either going to have to have a generator or hell a lot of solar. Or, you know, Connect it to a park, you know, an RV park. Let me see if I can open this up. I can't open that up. You have to lift it up. What? You have to lift it up. That's interesting. You lift, then you separate. 
and uh, again nice little George so again you look at these and you go they're plywood boxed nice plywood separators the fronts here su surprisingly are solid wood this is a very nice upgrade typically they just have vinyl wrap and they call it good but this one's pretty nice this has an entrance for the bathroom and uh, here's some of the other terminations this is where you do the clean out the uh, black tank so again I might explore USA RV Super Center in Fort Worth Texas they are the nicest people in the world seriously so I'm looking at these tires I can't read them Castle Rock that's a classic you know RV tire there's the exhaust and the water heater and some exterior plug and antenna connection and a place where you can connect a TV and you got two outdoor speakers if you're a party animal you're set nice size on look at that on it goes all the way across that's a good size on there's the steps to get in Let's go inside. These are solid steps, but these are not the upgraded solid steps. These are the more basic solid steps. They uh, don't have any uh, pistons to uh, help support. These are, you know, it's, you have to use your hands and uh, control this when you drop it down. So that's a budget consideration. The upgrade of this one has pistons that, you know, slowly goes down. But this one just, if you let it, it'll flop down the ground, okay? Let's go inside. Inside here, let me move this out of the way. There's some information about the vehicle. It says the uh, weight of cargo should never exceed 1,518 pounds. So it gives you the cargo capacity and, of course, the emergency number, etc. That's a nice little screen door. One of the first things you notice in this unit it has a sealed membrane. Uh, countertops, which is a definite upgrade over, uh, you know, T-molded. has a plastic sink. The upgrade of a plastic sink would be a stainless steel sink. So, this is what you call this, this brand right here, this Aurora brand by Forest River, it is uh, considered a value brand, okay? It's designed for individuals to uh, save a little cash. It's not upscale, for sure. Here's a little oven. It's a Furion oven. It's a smaller oven, okay? This is a small oven. They come with bigger ones. This is probably around 16 inch. They have the 22 inches. And they have the upscale versions, which were the super very nice uh, fifth wheels they give you. But this is pretty nice. It has this accent light. It's a bifold. It has three burners. That's very good. So it has three burners, very positive. Nice little oven. And you also get an oven and a microwave so you have both options that's a positive sometimes they don't give you the oven if you get the microwave give you a furry on refrigerator let me open that up for you yeah let me see if i can open that up yeah i got it open it's a nice refrigerator it looks like a battery ac dc refrigerator wow i can I don't know if it's for sure. I'm, I'm guessing because I don't see those fins back there. Very nice. I really like this refrigerator. Let me close this. So you look at the floor and you go, wow, these are uh, ducks in the floor. A lot of manufacturers have gone away from that because what happens is that when you walk, <laughs> all the crap that you collected outside uh, while camping, or uh, doing whatever you're doing, you know, goes down there, and when the heater comes on, it sort of spreads it. It, uh, <laughs> it just spreads it out. You get a nice, nice little sofa and a nice dinette. Wow, that's a, you can hold one, two, three, four, or five, six people here, and the TV's right there. You get a nice little TV, 
and a stereo system and uh, electric fireplace. This 30 inch fireplace is uh, designed to be used with alternating current and uh, you know so it's pretty good. If you're at a resort or a park you can just turn this on in the morning it'll get you nice and toasty in the morning. Not super toasty but toasty. Again one of the things I'm really impressed by by this model so far is the solid wood doors. It's not laminate. This typically, these uh, styles and this fascia here is typically, uh, you know, sticker wrap. I can feel back here. Yeah, you just feel back here and you can feel the, where the board ends and the sticker wrap begins. So that's normal for a lot of the market. Even the high end, some of the higher end play, uh, manufacturers do that. So there's a TV. What's it called? Connex? So let's swing around. So the bedroom's over here. The kitchen's over here. You got plenty of storage. Look at the storage. And uh, got the dinette. And again, sealed membrane uh, countertops. Less chance of issues of moisture penetrating and causing this to fall apart or just to support design. Nice chairs, nice padding. And again, you would sit in these chairs. Bring the kids, bring the family, bring bring the in-laws, bring anybody. And uh, sit in those chairs and see if they're pretty good, okay? Got storage over there. You got the sliding windows over there. These are your classic uh, uh, accordion style windows, you know, covers. An upgrade over that would be what? It would be, uh, you know, window blinds that you go up and down. And typically those have, you know, darkening and then they have the blackout versions of those nice little lights and of course these lights you can turn off individually Give them a good solid bunch of clunk there so this is a very nice dinette has again the seal membrane countertops nice little vinyl very durable sort of material that'll you know for especially if you're going outdoors and get a little dirty especially the kids they get really dirty very really fast Tell them don't get messy, but they always get messy because where are you? Outdoors. So nice window valances. You got a little curtain here, and that sort of creates, uh, you know, more privacy because a lot of the light sometimes comes right about here, so people can see what's going through. With this, you get a lot better privacy. Okay. Let's look at some of these cabinets. Wood, a lot of nice wood. This again, impressive, solid wood. Good quality. Again, this is a value brand uh, carried by the folks at uh, Explore USA RV Super Center. Typical plastic sink, again, even a travel trailer twice the price would still have a plastic sink. It has a little baby tub in here. I guess if you're taking the kids with you, maybe there might be a one or two or three year old that requires a, a bath and a bath tub. So nice surround solid surprisingly solid some of these are super flimsy but it's pretty solid and of course you get a skylight and you get a medicine cabinet good size medicine cabinet and you also get a door to the outside plastic toilet that's a you know budget choice you know if you want an upgrade of that you'd have to get a ceramic toilet that costs you about 200 bucks you can always install it just some you know loosen a couple screws and you're set has a door no lock so there we are so let's go back in the bunkhouse area so you got a nice little bunkhouse back here again you can have one or two kids here one or two kids here it's all no matter how big another so you can have one two three four five six kids back here if they're small if they're big one two three kids back here got some storage and you got a little area for a tv you can put a tv in this and i'm pretty sure the kids would love to play their video games or whatever they're going to do on the tv got a little ladder here these aren't very thick but uh to be honest with you unlike adults children rarely 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 complain about going outdoors and camping and sleeping on a small little thin match they can fall asleep you know you know 
rather readily as compared to adults. And this is that teddy bear brand right there. So you have some USBs here. Lights that go again on and off. And you have some, you know, ventilation right there, heater, and you have the controls right here. You have two places where you have controls. One here, and you get some pillows. You can put them anywhere in this unit. And you have some controls right there. Let's take a look at storage. It's a good size storage. This goes back about four feet. That's gigantic. That is gigantic. Same, you know, this bed is about, you know, a good three and a half feet. This is four feet back here. And these are, you got two of these. It's probably a good idea to organize it. Maybe use some, uh, what do you call things? Uh, Tupperware containers, those large Tupperware containers. I like this unit. If I had a young family, if I was like uh, still back in the 70s when I had my children, this would probably work for me. This is a perfect little area for, you can put a garbage can down there. So, what do I look for when I uh, buy or research RVs? I look at the countertops. One of the first things you look at is countertops. See if they're seal membrane, solid surface, or the cheap T-molded. I hate T-molded. Even uh, Winnebago stopped using T-molded on their, you know, travel trailers. The next thing I look at is the uh, sinks. Plastic is okay, not great. It's basically the bottom, you know, entry level. Upgrade of this would be like uh, American stone cast, and upgrade of that would be some stainless steel. And of course, there are different qualities of stainless steel. Then you look over here, you got a stove top, you got an oven, you got a microwave. You have it all. The only upgrade of this would be a bigger oven. And of course, they have different versions of the Furion. They, they got some super luxurious, you know, high end uh, Furions. But you know, this is a good little refrigerator. I like this Furion refrigerator. I really like it. I would be, I'm going to be curious uh, to find out if it's AC, DC, or just AC. And of course, you got the air conditioning up here. And you got, wow, you got a Fantastic or a Max Airtight fan. That's an upgrade, not some cheap little you know fan that blows no air this will blow some serious air and then you got the air conditioner and you got some vents and you got some lights and you got some accent lights and you got another air conditioner here this is a 50 amp unit wow i'd be curious to find out how much this thing is how much for a 50 amp unit uh in the aurora line i'm gonna go ask the folks and i'll post it right here okay let's go in the uh, bedroom it's a little tight squeeze here you have an area up there for the uh, TV. You have a window there, a window there, and you have little shirt storage here. It goes back ways back there. <laughs> this is some of the biggest storage I've seen in a long time in a travel trailer. Got some uh, platform there to put some whatever you need to put there for charging. Of course, you have alternating current and USB connectors, both sides. And you got this little area up here where you can throw some stuff. No uh, doors. Some units have doors here. You can open them up and lock things. So whatever you put there, make sure you don't. it doesn't rattle too much because you don't want it to fly out. And this is a nice little bed. I don't know what size it is. I'll post it. Let's open this up. And of course you have storage down here. This is a nice little plywood uh, top here. Plywood's an upgrade from that Dutch board that most people use. So this is... This is a pretty good piece of equipment here. This has a thin mattress, so you're probably gonna need to put a topper on it, or unless you're uh, used to roughing it, uh, whatever you want, it's up to you. You turn on and off the lights here. And you only have one light here. That is super modest. But you have these lights over here, so you can always have that light on. So you have one on each side. So that's pretty nice, huh? I like it. So this has been my review and walkthrough of this uh, Aurora travel trailer. What do you think? Do you like it? Uh, they have it over here at the Explorer USA RV Super Center. It's a definite nice option, I think. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Managarza. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye. Thank you.